Hey, check out our sponsor, MMAHQ.com. Daily deals, awesome products, but move fast. These deals are here today, gone tomorrow. Here's what you missed so far. Check them out, see what's on sale today. Hey guys, here are my Fight for the Troops predictions, and I want to send a shout out to all the troops out there. Thank you so much for protecting the USA and little old me. I just became a U.S. citizen a year and a half ago, so I am very proud to be an American. And my video is once again sponsored by MMA HQ, so let's go! I'm getting up! But look, I'm moving the camera around. This is the first. It's my dark apartment. And we are going to see what is on MMA HQ. What are they selling today? What is the deal? MMA HQ. First prediction is Evan Dunham versus Melvin Gavard. And a few years back, if I had predicted Melvin's fight, I would either say he would win by TKO or lose by submission, but times are changing and he is getting better with his submission defense. He's working with Greg Jackson, he's becoming more of a composed fighter, and he's fighting more strategically. But if I talk about composure, I need to talk about Evan Dunham, who is making waves in the 155 division, and I definitely think that he can trade with Melvin, um, and I think, you know, he has a huge advantage on the ground. Just because he couldn't sub, Sean Shirk does not take anything away from him because no one subs Sean Shirk. I repeat, no one subs Sean Shirk. So I'm going to pick Evan Dunham by submission. Next prediction, before I start it, you guys need to go to MMAHQ.com after this video. Next prediction is Matt Mutrian versus Tim Haig. Now, Matt wasn't really liked that much in The Ultimate Fighter, but that's in the past. No one really cares about that as much. Uh, he is ever improving as a fighter. He's you know proving to people that he's not just a formal football player. He is a true fighter. And uh, the only critique, though, is that he keeps his hands low, he exposes his chin, he basically takes a little too much damage than he really needs to. Exciting, yes. Dangerous, yes. Now he's fighting Tim. Tim had three losses in the UFC, and then he got cut, and then now he's coming up with two first-round stoppages. Now he's back in the UFC, everything's a go. I'm expecting a brawl. You should expect a brawl. We all should expect a brawl between these two. I'm going to pick Matt by decision. Next prediction is Mark Hominick versus George Roop, and this is my first time picking these guys that are coming over from the WEC. Both these guys have fought at 155 before, but now they're fighting at 145, and just has more intensity. Uh, Roop is coming off a big win by Hick Hick Knockout, and Hominick is just plain awesome. You'll see his striking, and you know what, you'll know why I say that. Uh, both guys have a good submission game, but I'm going to pick Hominick by decision. I think he's going to keep his fight standing, and I think he's going to win on his feet. I'm going to... Like I said, big comment by decision. Next prediction is Pat Berry versus Jerry Beltran, and I don't know what to do in this fight because both guys are coming off losses. Um, Beltran's a tough dude, and I can see that if he goes to the third round, him wearing down uh, Pat Berry and getting a decision. But <sighs> I don't know. But you know what? Pat Berry's a tough dude too, and I can see in round one him maybe finishing. I don't know. I think I think Pat Berry's camp is going to come up with a good strategy, um, a good game plan. So I'm going to go with Pat Berry by decision. Um, but I'm really like back and forth between these two guys. But I'm going to go with Pat Berry by decision. Last prediction is Cole Miller versus Matt Wyman. And Cole's been pretty vocal about fighters who don't look to finish fights, basically point fighting their way to a victory. Now this strategy, it pisses off Dana White, it pisses off the fans. And Cole said a while back that, you know, he always looks to finish a fight, even if that means exposing himself or getting TKO. Now, I can't argue with that. You know, he can submit anyone. He can TKO anyone. I'm not always going to pick him in the 155 division, but I am going to pick him in this fight because I like his go-for-broke type of attitude. I'm picking him by submission, but it's going to be hard because Matt Wyman is a well-rounded fighter. He hasn't been finished in a fight, I think, in like four and a half years. So it's definitely going to be a tough fight for both guys. I'm looking forward to it. But I'm picking Cole Miller by submission. And before you click off the video, make sure you like this video and subscribe on YouTube. And find me on Facebook and Twitter at MMA Girls. And also go to MMAHQ.com for all their deals.